Right, hello everyone, Luke for Smith here. Now I'm gonna have a look into a developing story which comes with a few twists and turns. Now this kid, Jay Slater, is is missing. He's been missing for about a week or so, so something like that. And yeah, I generally thought, oh poor kid, he's missing. He went to Tenerife and he's oh, he's got kidnapped or he's he, he lost he lost his way and he got lost that sort of thing then the more um we looked into it i mean like it's to be fair it's actually ridiculous the amount of articles the the media is putting out like i counted in the last two days there was like a almost like 50 articles on this i'm like is there any other news that you can like put in rather than this I mean I, I know he needs to be found but I'm pretty sure you can like even it out put some some good news stories in there as well like don't make life depressing and everything um, but um, digging was done and it was found out that if you look into this I know it's Daily Star so it's, it's a bit of a shitty um, uh, paper but teens head split open in machete attack by yobs who chased him down like a pack of gorillas and um, there's a kid that was attacked right there no he wasn't that was the um, guy who did it okay well, I don't know why you'd put that one up top when you should have put a picture of the kid on there this was in um, well the article was in June um, 2024 um, when was it August um, 2021 and here, here he is, Jay Slater. He was ge also given a community order, so he was in involved in the attack. Now, this has got people speculating, including me, um, that he basically went on the run. He went to Tenerife, and he got involved with a few doggy dealings. Now, there is a thing here. There's a woman called Lucy May, um, and she was like whispering into his ear something or kissing him I really don't know and um, they was at a, um, <clears throat> a nightclub and apparently he was getting, getting smashed off his face with like drugs and drink which okay it's pretty normal I suppose for like Tenerife for like kids to get smashed out of their heads but um, Lucy May has um, put up a fundraiser get Jay Slater home and fundraiser for Debbie um, his mum Lucy changed the name of this article of, of this um, of this GoFundMe page <laughs> a few times um, because it used to like have, have his mum's name in the title now it's just I'll oh, get him home because she probably knew what 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 people were like saying about it it raised 27 grand out of 30 grand. 6 uh, 2.6 grand, uh, six, uh, 2.6k donations. Now, um, there's a lot of speculation that he went on the run ha and he become a drug mule, a drug mule, which is basically someone carrying money for a drug dealer, aka possibly Lucy. Lucy might be the drug dealer. She might be a mule herself, like probably like a drug dealer's um, daughter or something like that and she like said to him, right let's do it together and he probably got caught up in it. Messy business to be fair, you wouldn't need to get in involved in that sort of thing but to be fair he did help the attack of a um, innocent child. So um he probably wanted to keep his head down, but in, at the same time, he probably oh, got 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 the fill of got the fill of the hunt, and started to um, get involved in some drug dealing activities, and he probably got caught up in it too much and had to go on the run. Now, yeah, the benefit fishery is Debbie Duncan, the the mother. Now people are saying that this is very similar to the um, Shannon Matthews um, thing, which, if you didn't don't know what that is, a long time ago, well not that long time ago, but it was a while ago, um, Shannon Matthews decided to 
like basically um, look into the Madeleine McCann case and thought to herself I can do that so she ended up hiding her daughter in a cupboard and said that she's missing and claimed a lot of money for it the only thing is she got found out she fucked up she fucked up and found out um, so she went to prison she's out at the minute I believe she is out she's in a, like a um, they put her in a um, straining order that, that sort of thing and people are fucking hating her <laughs> which is good because she's a fucking horrible old cow now people are comparing this to that the only problem is <clears throat> yeah he's missing but he is re really missing or like I said before could be on the run by drug dealers um, so looks so like Lucy May is using this money basically to send it to his mum um, keeping it safe for probably to pay his um, to pay the ransom that that sort of thing because I that's another thing people saying that he's been kidnapped which that is what I believe I actually do believe that he's been kidnapped because he got caught up in his drug dealing business and he got kidnapped and um, no one knows if he's alive or dead but um, he still he still helped me shitty someone so um, yeah it's gonna be a point against him I'm afraid um, so we're not quite sure what is like 100% in in this sort of thing um, like I said this is the um I say it's the official um, page we don't know who um, who 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 done this but yeah it's like I'm starting to think this could be one big setup possibly that is a possibility and there are a lot of like facebook mums basically saying oh i hope they find him safe now when when, when you show him the um, article that he stabbed someone they basically like blame you for it <laughs> which is fucking stupid uh, like this is a um concerned person it's like, oh, i hope i hope he's sound safe they probably don't know about the machete attack <clears throat> Yeah, this group is fucking wild, by the way. Yeah, has Lucy been arrested? Haven't heard anything, but seen TikTok videos, but not sure if it's true. Yeah, that's the thing, because, look, the organiser, Lucy May, but this is, like, before, that she added a um, beneficiary, be beneficiary um, after which I've already seen. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit fishy. I mean, why would you want to set up a GoFundMe? Um, because it's basically taxpayers' money in um, Tenerife that they're using to find him, but never mind, it's probably a little bit off right there. People are comparing it to like Madeleine McCann, but again, that was a completely different story. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, that has been it for this video. Um, I'm not going to put anything in the in description, I'm just going to type something in there. Uh, you can go on Facebook and f find this sort of stuff yourself. You can Google his name, find his GoFundMe and whatever's, um, and you can actually like um, have a look for yourself and like come to your own conclusions. Um, but me personally, I think he got involved in the wrong crowd, got smacked out out out, out of his mind um, at a nightclub, and basically got groomed by Lucy, who is possibly a drug dealer or another drug mule. Um, and she thought, I'll make some extra cash for us. And yeah, got involved in the wrong crowd, in other words. So yeah, that's been it for today's video. Um, tomorrow will be a weekly recap. I know this ain't a low cow video, but to be fair, I'm completely fresh out of ideas on that one. I'm going to try and record something else for Monday tonight. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be a... Um, um, decent or not it really depends how how it goes so um, we will have to see so until then see you guys